All right, so what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to an insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was actually funny enough my grade nine year. In grade nine, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did a lot of crazy things. But one thing I never expected to do was to do a girl in the bathroom stall, or to be exact, on the toilet. The way this ended up happening was actually really weird, but I remember one time I was in school just hanging out doing my own thing, and there was a girl that I knew about in my class that I wasn't really a fan of. If you're wondering what class it was, I think it was language arts, but going on with the story, I remember basically during language arts, me and her, we would kind of sit beside each other, but not talk at all. Me and her weren't interested in each other, and don't get me wrong, even though she had a nice pair of cherries, me and her, we just never spoke. But this is where the story gets actually pretty interesting. I remember one time, she ended up looking at me saying, uh, Bubba, I'm just curious. Do you know this girl? And she showed me a photo of a girl that I actually did the devil's tango with back last year when I was in grade eight. Now, I remember I was embarrassed to say yes. So I ended up just saying, oh, uh, I mean, I'm friends with her and I know about her. And that's when she ended up looking at me with an eyebrow raise saying, um, I'm just curious. Did you do the devil's tango with her? Uh, what? Why would you ask that? Is what I said afterwards. And then I remember she was explaining to me me how basically she's friends with this girl and how she you know was told about how me and her did it and how we did it on a middle school roof that is a story on the channel by the way if you do want to go out and watch it go for it but going on with the story she was very interested in how i basically did the devil's tango so i remember from there i remember just looking at her saying to be honest i don't really want to talk about this just you know out loud you know what i mean it's kind of weird and then that's when she said oh like it's fine like you know what like here add my snapchat and then from there i ended up adding this girl snap now, once again, like in the beginning of the story, I said I wasn't interested in her and I really wasn't, but I really wanted to see where this was going to go. So I remember from there, basically me and her, we were just snapping back and forth. I would snap her during the day. She snapped me at night. And all we talked about was basically the devil's tango. Now, let me say this. Having a conversation with a girl is not a hard thing to do, but having conversations with a girl about the devil's tango usually leads somewhere. And what does it usually lead to? Well, actually doing the devil's tango. But obviously with me and this girl, it didn't happen so quickly. I remember me and her, we were just talking on snap and we were basically talking about one topic that I never expected to talk about. And that was what was the perfect size. Now, guys, if you're watching this video, I want you quickly, just with your hands, make the right size. And girls, you do the same thing. Now, I'm telling you right now, the guys are obviously going to show bigger than the girls. Because I don't know why this girl told me, oh, to be honest, like, I'm more of like a five inch type of person. Wow. Congratulations. Half of the population is five inches. Congrats. Sorry. That's a really weird fun fact to say. But as you know, actually, the most common eggplant size is five inches. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Going on with the story though, I remember we were talking about it and to be honest, I didn't really want to talk about eggplants with her. So I decided to talk to her about the next best thing and that was cherries. Now cherries are amazing. I'm not joking. Comment down below what you guys prefer, cherries or peaches. But for me, I'm a cherry guy. And to be honest with you, if you guys like peaches, fun fact, you are a percentage of gay. Did you guys know that if you like peaches more than cherries, there's a chance that you might be gay. Now you're probably looking at me saying, what in the world am I talking about, dude? Can you just talk about the story? No, actually, I'm gonna tell you this fun fact. So did you know that in this world, any guy and girl can have a nice peach? Like, I'm not joking when I say this, many, and I mean many, many people can go to the gym, do 100 squats a day, and have the nicest peach ever. But as for cherries, only women have them, and on top of that, only a nice pair of cherries is very rare to find. So, I'm just saying for all those peach guys out there, you might want to reconsider saying the word cherries when a girl asks you what you prefer. Because at the end of the day, have you seen those baseball players? Yeah, they have a nice peach. Anyways, going on with the story though, I remember I ended up telling her that fun fact, and she started laughing saying, huh, well, I mean, my cherries are good too. Your cherries are nice, is what I said with an eyebrow raise emoji. And this is where things get really, well, to the other side of things, if you know what I mean. I remember I ended up snapping her saying, well, like, I'm gonna be for real with you. I don't believe it because it's hard finding a nice girl with nice cherries. And at that moment, she ended up sending me a photo for cherries. And I'm not gonna lie. She had a nice rack. 
like no joke so i remember from there i got bricked up and you know she ended up telling me to send her something obviously i didn't guys on the internet please don't send your photos anywhere it's not a good idea i'm just saying that for privacy reasons youtube don't demonetize this video and then i remember from there we always had that devil's tingle tension going on the next day at school i remember i sat down beside her and i'm not gonna lie it felt really weird sitting beside her knowing exactly what was through that shirt but at the same time it kind of got me in the mood and i remember me and her we just kept looking back and forth at each other because we both knew that like you know we were attracted to each other and stuff and it wasn't as awkward as before when to be honest me and her weren't attracted to each other and we were just you know two people sitting beside each other but it got to the point where i remember she looked at me and i looked at her and it got to the point where i'm not gonna lie she snapped me saying i'm wet right now now when she texted me that on snapchat i didn't know what to say in my mind i was thinking that maybe i should just play it cool and you know just act like i don't need it but at the same time like i said in the older video i'm a hypersexual if i'm gonna do it i gotta do the devil's tango so i ended up messaging her on snap saying yo okay you know what we could do uh we can go to the bathroom the bathroom are you crazy like there's no way we're going to the bathroom no trust me we're going to the bathroom i mean which one and then that's when we decided to go to a bathroom stall in the guy's change room yeah i know kind of insane but i remember i ended up leaving going to the guy's change room since pe was already in session no one would be in the change room and basically this girl she ended up following behind me two seconds later going into the guy's change room now obviously we didn't want to do it straight up in the change room so i remember me and her we ended up going into a bathroom stall and in the bathroom stall there was obviously going to be a toilet since there was a toilet i remember i ended up sitting down in the toilet and this girl ended up sitting on me and let's just say yeah we ended up doing the devil's tango i remember as we were doing it she ended up yelling my name like over and over again like you know how awkward it is when a girl goes baba 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 like it's just really awkward but i remember when that happened i was just kind of just you know doing my thing and i'm not gonna lie i didn't even get to finish she finished before me i know crazy but i won't lie to you guys there was a reason for that and the reason was was that since i sat on the toilet with my pants off my brain decided to tell my body that i have to go take a fat dump so from there i remember i was basically more in need of you know taking a dump than doing the devil's tingle so the whole time when this chick was riding me on a toilet seat i was basically thinking about dropping a deuce yeah really weird but i remember that whole thing ended up getting really awkward and to be honest she ended up saying like oh like do you not want to finish and i told her i didn't want to and to be honest like i was just not in the mood anymore and me and her we ended up going back to class sitting down really awkwardly and uh yeah i mean that's basically it we didn't get caught nothing it was just another common day of me doing the devil's tango but i mean hey there's a lot of those to tell on this channel anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and like i always say fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys